Earlier in the year, we decided to create a free synthesizer for our Facebook fans. We created ADH Diddy as a thank you for their support and feedback over the past year. We asked for their suggestions and decided to settle on an idea from James Jason Duckett to create an additive synthesizer. You can listen to James's own work on his CC Mixer profile by going to the web address below. We decided to put together this tutorial to coincide with the release of ADH Diddy to try to help the user better understand the routing of the synthesizer and how to get sounds working. So when you open ADH Diddy for the first time, you'll see in the center of it 16 sliders. These are just the volume of the 16 sine waves that we use to create the main body of the sound. The slider on the far left is the fundamental frequency and then sliders F1 to F15 are the first 15 harmonics. For the start of this tutorial, we're going to turn all of the harmonics all the way up and activate all of them using the active switch at the bottom. As we do this, you'll be able to hear the effect the frequency of the sine waves have on the overall sound. So we'll start by turning them all on. And then I'll play a sustain note as I turn up the levels. Each of the 16 sine waves has two envelope generators to change the sound, one for pitch and one for volume. This gives you a total of 32 8 stage envelopes that you can view and edit by clicking the buttons above the respective slider. Before we delve into these we'll go through the other parameters on the synthesizer. At the bottom left you'll find a simple filter with cutoff and resonance. Next along you will find a simple delay effect On the right you will find the volume control, velocity control and glide Below this you'll find the MIDI controls including the channel, pitch bend range, re-trigger for the envelopes and mono and poly mode. Above these you'll find the pan knob. And at the bottom you can set the octave range. Next along we're going to have a look at the 8 stage envelope generators, which as mentioned we select by clicking the buttons above the respective slider. We'll start by turning all the waveforms off apart from one, so that we can hear exactly how it's affecting the sound. Looking at the envelope, you'll be able to see eight squares at the bottom. This is where you change the values of each stage, by pushing them up and down. Clicking on an envelope stage brings up a menu. This allows you to change the characteristics of that stage.
Now we'll take a look at the volume envelope. This is identical to the pitch envelope and once again we change the values by dragging the boxes in the view window. As you can imagine, if you had all 16 pitch envelopes doing something different, the sound could get quite messy. However, it is possible to create some nice effects. We have added a sync function for each of the waveforms. This can be turned on or off below the waveform active switch. When active, this syncs the currently selected waveform to the harmonic before it. This gives the user the possibility to create very complex waveforms with lots of movement. So here we've turned on the sync button for the waveform that we're listening to. Now we activate the waveform before it. 